Hi everyone, I'm Basilia for 5 Food Nomad and in this channel I share content about the digital nomad lifestyle which is traveling, working online and just living a life that you enjoy in a smarter, more optimized way. So in this video I'm going to be sharing with you guys the seven, seven? The seven mental health issues that freelancers face. So, who is a freelancer? Why do they face these mental health issues? I'm gonna be diving into this and I'm also going to be telling you how to fix these mental health issues or avoid them altogether. So, let's dive right in. Before we dive into the mental health issues that freelancers face, a freelancer is someone who works online, they don't work a nine to five, you know, they work as their own boss online, offering services to a company or to individuals or buyers online. They work with platforms like Upwork or Fiverr and they offer services online like graphic design, writing services, uh, consultancy, digital marketing services, and all of these other services that are online. So here's the thing, a lot of people assume that when you become a freelancer that your life is amazing because you're no longer having this nine to five job you now work for yourself online you own your time you are now your own boss you get to choose where you want to work from if it's another country or from your computer but while these are some of the pros of working online there are some cons and in this cons comes with mental health issues that freelancers face and a lot of new freelancers don't realize this and they just dive into it without informing themselves and at the end of the day they find themselves struggling mentally they don't understand why they're not feeling as great as they hoped that they would feel so i'm going to be sharing with you the seven mental health issues that freelancers deal with and how to fix it okay i'm not just going to tell you the problem i'm going to act as the freelance doctor and i'm going to give you an idea on how to fix it. The number one mental health issue that freelancers face is isolation from other people, okay? When you're working in nine to five, you go to work and you have interactions with other people, your colleagues, and you can gossip with them, you can have lunch breaks with them, you know, you basically have human interaction with them. And this sort of helps you feel like, okay, I'm part of a community or I'm part of something. But when you're working as a freelancer, you're no longer going to an office. You're not working from home. You're not working from a coffee shop or something. And you're by yourself. And this causes you to start feeling isolated from other people. So how can you fix this? The way to fix this is to schedule times during your day to go out with friends or family and, you know, or to meet new people or to just go to a cafe or a bar where you can see other people and sort of interact with other people. When I first started as a freelancer, after work, I would just start watching TV or just press my phone and I wouldn't even bother to go out. And this started affecting me mentally. So if you don't want to find yourself feeling isolated from other people make a conscious effort as a freelancer to schedule times to spend with other people to interact with others to go out to a bar to see your friends or your family so that you will not feel isolated the second mental health issue that freelancers face is stress from working odd hours and with different time zones so as a freelancer because you're working online you'll be working with different clients from around the world that have different time zones for example what I can we're working from Montenegro for clients in the US or clients in Australia and the time zones are insane you're almost five hours ahead or, or six hours ahead and so clients will set deadlines for their time zone and you have to beat that right because you have to deliver the job before the time and you could find yourself working late into the night or working odd hours not getting enough sleep you know um, neglecting your personal life just so you can finish the job and make that extra dollar. So how do you fix this? You can do this by learning to say no to any job that would deprive your sleep, any job that will cause you to neglect your personal life. You're not even cooking yourself meals anymore. You're skipping lunch. You're not taking care of yourself or taking care of your responsibilities, like taking care of your loved ones. Any job that would deprive you of sleep and cause you to neglect your personal life, learn to say no to it. This would help you to make sure that you only take jobs that you can work with in the normal hours of the day. And and it would help you to sustain and maintain a healthy mental health. So the third 
mental health issue that freelancers face is a decline in social confidence, okay? So when you're working a nine to five, you go out, you interact with other people, you don't feel some sort of stress just talking to other people. But when you start working from home and you spend time doing this, all of a sudden you start realizing, oh my God, I'm no longer socially confident. You start having a bit of social anxiety and you start dreading going out to be with other people because you're no longer sure that you have this people's skills anymore, right? So how do you fix this? How do you make sure that you still have your social confidence even while you're working from home? You can do this by making an extra effort to leave your comfort zone. When you leave your comfort zone, you put yourself out there, you put yourself in situations where you have to um, challenge yourself socially. For example, having more Zoom meetings or going out to a bar or going out to interact with others and, you know, putting yourself in situations where you have to engage socially with other people. This would help you boost your social confidence and it would help you get rid of any social anxieties that you might be facing or that could develop from you working from home or working as a freelancer. So the fourth mental health issue that freelancers face is feeling useless when you're not working, which leads to you overworking or trying to escape with TV or IG. Oh my God, I have struggled with this. Some days I still struggle with this, okay? So as a freelancer, sometimes you may not get new leads or you've finished all your work for the day and you could finish working by 10 a.m. or 11 a.m. and then you have the rest of the day free. So when you're not working, you start feeling useless. Like, oh my God, what am I doing with my life? And then you get bored or you might start saying oh I need to fill up this time and then you continue working and doing other things just to keep busy or you start trying to escape this boredom by watching tv shows binging something or constantly scrolling on ig just to pass the time and you know this can start to cause you to feel useless and like you're not good enough and like you're not doing what you need to do so how do you fix this guys the way to fix this is to realize that there's a time for everything in your life there's a time for working there's a time for doing the things that you enjoy there's a time for taking care of your personal life you know there's a time for everything and you can avoid this feeling of uselessness by having a clear schedule that includes other fun and productive activities in your day for example if you would finish working by 10 then schedule an activity to go walk in the park or you know to go to some some place to hang out or to see a friend basically schedule other fun or productive activities in your day so that you don't feel like when you're not working that something's wrong with you when you're feeling useless right so that you don't find yourself overworking or trying to escape by doing useless things like scrolling endlessly on ig or watching tv shows that do nothing for you so it's important that you schedule other activities in your day that will make you feel more productive and not useless right so the fifth mental health issue that freelancers face i think i've already mentioned this before but it's social anxiety usually most people don't struggle with social anxiety when they are working a nine to five but once you become a freelancer and you have that time where you don't engage with a lot of people and you don't go out and you're mostly at home working and doing your stuff after a while you start having social anxiety so how do you fix this like i mentioned before make an extra effort to not stay glued to your computer to your tv or your phone you know because when you're working from home as a freelancer you just go from screen to screen to screen and by that what i mean is you go from your laptop screen to your tv screen to your phone screen and it becomes this vicious cycle right so make an effort to avoid going from screen to screen to screen just in a bit to avoid social situations okay challenge yourself put yourself out there challenge yourself if you're invited to an event go for it if you're invited to hang out go for it don't let that social anxiety cause you to just be addicted to your phone or addicted to your tv or your laptop and you know working non-stop just to avoid this social interaction right so to get rid of social anxiety challenge yourself put yourself out there put yourself in situations that challenge you to engage with others and the sixth mental health issue that freelancers struggle with is loneliness okay loneliness is a thing that a lot of freelancers struggle with especially when most of your friends and family work a nine to five and they don't have the same free time or the same schedule as you loneliness happens especially to people who are single if you don't have 
a husband or a boyfriend or if you don't have kids and you know you are just by yourself all day working and when you're not working let's say you don't schedule times to go out and spend time with friends you start feeling lonely and this can start leading to sadness so how do you fix this the solution for this is for you to get used to doing things by yourself i know this is insane i know this is totally out of your comfort zone but you need to get used to doing things by yourself. If you have friends and family who don't have the same schedule as you, they're not freelancers, they work a nine to five, they're busy, they work overtime, some people work two jobs. So even on the weekends, they don't have time to see anyone. They just want to spend it doing their own thing. If this is the case to prevent you from feeling lonely, start getting used to doing things by yourself. Go to the movies by yourself, go to a park by yourself, travel by yourself, take yourself on a dinner date, go pub hopping or club hopping, by yourself this would help you to develop the habit of doing things by yourself and not just that it would help you to uh not feel lonely because you know you're waiting to hang out with the people in your life waiting for their free time and then using that as an excuse not to do things by yourself so i feel like to curb this loneliness learn to do things by yourself and when you can spend time with the people you love spend time with the people you care about this would help you feel less lonely and feel more in control of your life and the seventh and final mental health issue that freelancers face is health issues guys health issues like headaches and back pain you know from sitting on the couch working all day from looking at a screen you know all of these things can start leading to health issues like back pain headaches and all of this can lead to poor mental health so how do you fix this guys it's important that you invest in the right tools to help you work efficiently and prevent back pain for example like an ergonomic chair this can help you to sit properly have a good posture so that you can avoid back pain and headaches to avoid headaches from staring at the screen all the time learn to take short breaks don't just stare at the screen for eight hours straight working 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 that is so bad for your health so to avoid this try your best to take breaks from looking at the screen if you've walked for an hour take a 15 minute break from looking at the screen or you buy blue light glasses to you know protect your eyes from the blue rays of the computer screen you know you have to be conscious of these things because if you don't take care of your health and you have a poor physical health which is headaches which comes from sitting all the time and staring at the screen all day then this is going to lead to poor mental health so this is it guys the seven mental health issues that people face isolation from other people um, social anxiety lack of social confidence you know um, feeling lonely all of these things you have to protect yourself as a freelancer it's not all roses and hallelujah you know because now you're a freelancer work, being your own boss working by yourself you have to be conscious of these mental health issues and work towards fixing them did you find this video useful did I say something that you didn't realize if so tell me in the comments and also you know feel free to ask me any questions you have if you have any other tips as a freelancer that you would want to share with others share it in the comments the whole point of these videos are to learn from each other to share the knowledge that i have so that you can learn from me and if you have anything you would want to add put it in the comments and we can learn from each other so i hope you found this video useful and thank you so much for watching don't forget to hit the like you know and don't forget to subscribe and thank you so much for watching until next time bye Thank <laughs> you.